Look at the mouth. Yeah, look at his mouth. Do you see his mouth? Why do you have to see this? Lydia, he was opening his mouth. All big. He's very cool. Yeah, the other one's more cool. This one's kind of spiky. Yeah, I thought that one. Yeah. I wanna, I wanna take him for a ride. <laughs> Just sit on him and go. Knock knock. Fast, knock knock. Huh? Knock knock. Look, he's going to touch him. He's going in with his shell. He's like, who's knocking on my shell? Thank you. 
You can see how smooth and light. And he's got a beautiful pattern on him. What do you guys think that pattern helps? With camouflage, right? Exactly. That helps keep him hidden from his predators as well as helping him hide from his prey. These guys are ambush predators. There you go. Good job. You got it. He's happy. You're doing a great job supporting him. And he's kind of cold this morning. He was on the cold side of his tape. So later on today, he'll probably move over underneath his basking light and get nice and warm. Because these guys are cold-blooded, right? That's one of the reasons it's so hot inside the zoo. We've got to keep it warm for all of our cold-blooded friends so that they can stay comfortable and healthy. Yeah, he feels pretty neat. The cool thing about snakes, too, is that these guys have bones and muscles just like us. So he has a spinal column and ribs that go all the way down his body. Very cool. He's very friendly. I'm going to hold on to the face. Yeah. Good job. He feels really strong, doesn't he? Yeah. You guys can imagine how strong the really large pythons and the anaconda are. Awesome. All right, guys. We're going to pass on for some more turns. Beautiful. Okay. So big black hands on your knees. So that we can help support his body. There we go. Please. You guys just to go turn it around. Now pump for my hands, please. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. He's gonna wiggle his tail a lot, just so you guys know. Here, touch his tail. You just touch it really quick. His head's way at the other side. 